do you have a description of the upcoming Marvel Fox DC me yes. Marvel comics? I said nearly. I DC do. Was awkward. Would Deadpool you like the official 20th Century Fox synopsis for the film? I would love that, please. Okay. After surviving a near fatal bovine attack, a disfigured cafeteria chef, Wade Wilson, struggles to fulfill his dream of becoming Maybury's hottest bartender while also learning to cope with his sense his lost sense of taste. Searching to regain his spice of life as well as a flux capacitor, Wade must battle ninjas, the Yakuza, and a pack of sexually aggressive canines as he journeys around the world to discover the importance of family, friendship, and flavor, finding a new taste for adventure and earning the coveted coffee mug title of World's Best Lover. Yep. Yep. Do you feel like any of that's relevant to the actual plot of the film? No. No, neither do I. His name is Wade Wilson. <laughs> Did it say he's a chef at the start? What was that? Yes. A cafeteria chef. A cafeteria chef. Fair enough. Before we jump into the trailer, I didn't want to get... I didn't want to get some quick going in because they've put teasers out. They've put stuff yeah. like that. What are you expecting to see? Because I actually haven't read any articles. So I don't know if you have. Is this a proper trailer? Like, am I actually I getting so, a yeah. proper story? It's not It's not a troll, troll I system? I believe so. So I, it's not like little dolls and it's like here's cable without we'll the get green some screen. some more actual footage from the movie. Okay. All right. Let's let's watch it and then we'll, we'll see. And then we'll... What yeah. Is on all these things. <laughs> oh, yeah. So weird they bring him back. Mm. He's in the first mm. movie for what? Five minutes? Well, he needs to get around some way. That's true. Why can't he die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shit my pants. Actually, that may have been me. Oh, you're living the dreams, DP. Yeah. Devil me care attitude. <laughs> Strong thighs. Beautiful girlfriend. Sorry I'm late. I was rounding up all the gluten in the world and launching into space where it can't not hurt us ever again. Kiss me like you miss me, Red. What with the metal in the fuxicle is this? My name's Cable. I'm here for the kid. Trust the what? The kid? The scuffer guy. You mean to? I'm a lot smarter than I look. I ain't letting Cable kill this kid. Who the fuck is the kid? I can't do this alone. Can you speak up? Beep, beep. It's hard to hear you with that pity dick in your mouth. We're gonna I think Professor X is <laughs> Need him tough, morally flexible, and young enough to carry their own franchise for 10 to 12 years. We will be known as <laughs> X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Now, let's go get our fuck on. Don't call it a comeback! Tell me they got that in slow motion. Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right, sometimes you have to fight to that whole question. That is why Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is pure pornography. Oh, God, I wish I finished college. It lives up to the hype, plus plus. Fuck it, they probably won't even make a three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it, too. You killed it. <laughs> All right, yeah, it was, it was a proper trailer. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy that yeah. it was a proper trailer. Um, do you know who the kid is? That's my... Well, I don't know his name, though. obviously. He's from... Uh, no, no, beast. like not the not the actor, like the character. What role sure. he's playing? Yeah, the role he's playing. Mm, Do you know? Have you read anything? Look. Do you have this information handy for me? You don't, no, you failed. It's not me. listed on IMDb. Like his character name, it's just. Nope, it's blank. Whatever. Okay, so I I I really enjoyed the trailer because it's my biggest problem with the first movie was everything about Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, all that's fantastic. The plot, I found super redundant, boring. Like, the first Deadpool was a movie making fun of superhero tropes and normal superhero 
uh, movies and stories, while also just telling another very typical origin story type scenario amongst it all. And it, of course, didn't have a big enough budget to do a lot of what I think they wanted to do. And I just got bored towards the end of it. I was like, it, it, I'm, I'm having fun, sure. But it, it very much was a an enjoyable adrenaline rush of a, a movie I watched one time. And I haven't watched it again since, I don't think. I, I've been highly looking forward to the sequel since watching the first one. Just knowing that they will get the chance to get more money and to tell a just more ridiculous story where it's it's free of the oh how do you get his powers blah 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 because yeah. i'm so over that in general I, i'm so sick of seeing movies that are origin stories, stories. Yeah. i'm so sick of it it, uh, it doesn't matter if you're making fun of that as uh in your movie it was still an or it's still an origin story movie like after, after all that um you're looking at me like yeah dylan yeah, i i yeah. love the, the first movie a lot more than you did um so what do you think of that trailer anything yeah it's good uh i my only concern is they're throwing so many different characters in they could be a bit overstuffed and they they could just be surface level i guess or it could just be building up to this x-force movie that they've got in the works or well. is this basically an x-force movie that's just called yeah. deadpool 2 yeah By the looks that of it. because if he gathers the team together fast, then isn't it just an X-Force? Like, if the yeah. X-Force isasn't gathered in the final third, and the X-Force is basically gathered in the first third, and then put into action by the second third, it's an X-Force movie. Yeah. Really. You can call it Deadpool 2, but, it, but if that's the plot and the main purpose of the movie is for him to gather the team and then put them to work to stop Cable and save the kid or whatever, it's an X-Force movie. Yeah. Call it what you want. Um, there's some interesting picks in there, like Terry Crews. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, is it Alexander Skarsgård I could see in the background or someone it looked like? I don't know. I think it was just It a... looked like Alexander Skarsgård to me. He had like a face mask over though. So I wasn't 100% sure. Bill Skarsgård. Bill Skarsgård. There you go. It's I could see the eyes. It was those killer eyes. So you've got uh, the, the clown prince of It. Yes. A Skarsgård appearing. A Skarsgård. It must be something about they're up. They have very similar like eye features I, I i don't know yeah but i could tell it was a scars guard yeah there we go them scars guards yeah, them scars guards and them piercing whatever color eyes they they <laughs> they had um and then you was it the main the main girl who looks to be the main female chicks domino right or yeah. is it yep and i have Z no idea zazi beats i think is how to pronounce her name to do cool. atlanta cool uh what do we think about uh cable with uh well, yeah. with Thanos. I mean, what let, little let's... you've seen. <laughs> but do you think it it's looks... a do you think it's an issue of him playing Thanos as well? No, you don't. They're... No, because they're completely different. No, for a yeah, start, but... one is flesh colored and the other one is purple. You don't think it's going to bother anyone? The cinema going audience? Yeah, of course it's going to bother people because people are terrible and care about stuff, get angry about stuff they shouldn't get angry about. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah. And Michael just called out in chat. DP two slash the x-force movie origin movie yeah but here's the thing team origin movie wouldn't bore me as much as a like a, just a typical character origin movie that's because that's a, a different like seeing the x-men team be brought together is different to seeing how all the x-men get their powers separately you know that i love i love it i love a good video. getting the band together movie you know what i mean like and, and when you put when you're putting together a superhero team, it's very much just putting the band together type thing. I enjoyed yeah. that part of Justice League. I like I did wasn't I was like cool they're, they're going over the places, getting other people, all that sort of stuff. So I have no problem with that. I just I just yeah. don't want this movie to include how fucking everyone got their their powers in flashback sequences and stuff. I don't need to know. I don't care. All right. No. You, you you live in a universe where everyone has powers and all sorts of but that was our first proper trailer that we've had for deadpool and when does it come out may something may sometime 15th i think i can see on the poster there um not far out they dropped the first yeah. proper story trailer pretty pretty close do you reckon we get a another story trailer with a lot more in it or do you nah. reckon they just drop one more with a lot I of the same footage drop a bunch of viral stuff viral stuff i i hope they do and i hope they that 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 trailer that we just watched is the only proper story trailer because do yeah. they need to drop story trailers to sell this movie to people the answer is no probably not no no you drop another painting whatever 
do whatever that Twitch guy, Bob Ross, do another Bob Ross thing. Do a fucking video where he's a cafeteria. Do all that viral marketing shit. That is how you, you get more people to go watch the movie. The random people who never heard of Deadpool watched it and thought it was hilarious and may hate other superhero movies. You get them with, with that viral stuff. Put on a vi put on the 30 second Facebook video, make like 20 of those and spam them out every week of just autoplay people scrolling and there's Ryan Reynolds doing some funny little thing. That is way better. You use the best you can of Ryan Reynolds in that suit to market this movie, not by cutting together proper proper trailers and you should do that because not every movie has the chance and the ability to, to, to do that because you can fourth wall break you can do all sorts of crazy nonsense that other movies just don't get chance to to do and i think it's a waste if you if you don't do that so and also the viral stuff's all fucking hilarious so yeah. i'm biased and just want more 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 of the viral more of the viral stuff any wrap ra any wrapping up thoughts on deadpool and a score you got for me using the yeah, proper scoring good. system Two thumbs up. I agree. Two, thumb, two, 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 two thumbs up for this, Judd. I quite enjoyed that one. 